Hello, my name is Alex from AP Commerce, and in this video, I will talk about the commission calculation in Standard Business Central, and I will also talk about the commission calculation uh, based on Cash Receipt, which is an app that we developed on AppSource for Business Central. The way Standard Business Central calculate commission is at the point of sale. So this means that when you invoice a sales order, the commission is recognized for the salesperson right away. Now for some companies, they do not pay commission based on the sales. They pay commission when they receive the cash from their customers. Only when the payment is received, we would calculate the commission for the salesperson. Now in addition, when you receive the payment for the invoice, not everything on the sales invoice is commissionable. For example, your freight charge, your pallet charge, or any other miscellaneous charges may not be commissionable. So on this app, you're able to select should be part of the commission calculation and which types of lines should be excluded from the commission calculation. So looking at Business Central, the standard way Business Central does commission is very basic. So if I search on commission, the standard out of the box Business Central has the salesperson commission report. And I'm just gonna preview to show the report. It's gonna give me the posting date of the invoice, the invoice number, the customer, the sales amount, and it's gonna calculate based on the salesperson's commission rate, what the sales commission is. If we were to calculate it off the invoice as a whole, you would need to transfer this information into your purchase invoice so you could pay out your commission. What we've done with our app is we've extended the commission process for it to be calculated based on the cash receipt for the sales invoice. We created a worksheet that allows the calculated commission to be put on a worksheet for you to review. So if I click on the salesperson commission, I'm gonna click on process and I'm gonna click on calculate commission. From here, you would put in the cash receipt date that you would like to consider for commission calculation. I'm gonna click OK. After I click OK, it's gonna go through and look at all the cash receipts within the day period and populate the invoices that should be considered for commission. So on, on here, I see that these are the original document. In this case, the invoice. This is the application which is the payment and as well as the credit memo. If I want to gain more detail, look at more detail about a particular invoice, I could click on navigate and show document. This will allow me to drill down and look at the posted sales invoice to see what the contents of the transaction is. If I scroll to the right, I can see that there are two columns, amount non-commissionable and amount commissionable. Depending on the setup on what line types I would consider to be commissionable or non-commissionable, it will calculate the total amount that should be included as part of the commission calculation. At this point, I could click on the commission percentage and override the commission percentage. Now, if there are credit memos that are applied to the invoice, it should be deducted from the salesperson's commission. So in this case, you'll see that there is a credit memo that was applied to the invoice in question. Therefore, the commission amount should be deducted. Once you verify the suggested commission is indeed what we need to pay for the salespeople, I can click on action, function, and create commission purchase document. From here, I could choose to create a purchase order or purchase invoice. In this case, I'm gonna create an invoice and click OK. If I now take a look at the purchase invoice, when I bring up this invoice, it will display the details of what I'm paying for my salesperson. And that's it. If you have any additional questions, please leave us a note. I will include our contact information in the notes. Thank you, have a nice day.